should say the first one, Low Dispatchers Unit, that contract expired uh, January 1st, 2009. So we're going back to January 1st, 2009. And these look very similar to the MOU that was approved for IBEW. So, uh, for example, for the Low Dispatchers, and so this is, there's some retroactivity, but also we are requesting an extension to the existing MOU, much as what we did with, with IBW. So these would be five-year contracts. So this one expired on December 31st, 2008. Effective January 1st, 2009, um, they would get the 5.9% cost of living adjustment. And then on January 1st, 2010, which is this year, they would get that lump sum payout, 3.25% lump sum payout. Then the last three years of the five-year contract, or the five, now we're looking for five years total, they would get the 2% minimum or the maximum 4% except for in the first year of now the additional three years I'm talking about, if the COLA is, if it's, if it's negative, if the CPI, I'm sorry, is negative, then they would get the 1% lump sum plus 1% cost of living adjustment. And then the fourth year and fifth year of the contract, again, 2% floor, 4% maximum. That's the load dispatcher unit. Now, the, the next two, the Management Employees Association, which is item number 19, and the Association of Confidential Employees, which is item number 20, they have similar start times. Their contract actually expired back on October 1st, 2007. So what we're doing with those two contracts is effective October 1st, 2007, and they will get a 3.25% COLA adjustment. So it's added to their base wage. Then on October 1st, 2008, they get the 5.9% increase. Again, this is a COLA. And then on October 1st, 2009, they would get the 3.2, I know this sounds probably sounds a little bit confusing, 3.25% the lump sum payment, just like what we did with Local 18. And then again, moving forward, because again, we're looking at a five-year contract, starting with October 1st, 2007, moving forward five years. So for year four and five, again, it would be a 2% floor and a 4% maximum. So we're just bringing these into alignment, for the most part, with IBW. But again, you know, the start times are different because, you know, they just have different start times on the MOUs. And we're currently running about $15 million under that, and that's because we haven't hired up all our staff. So essentially, that's where the funding for this fit $5 million of the entire retro will come from. And we'll still be t roughly $10 million under. So the entire retro funding for all three or for just the one? For all three, just $5 million. Okay, and what, what is uh, the reference to other salary adjustments? That's a very good question. What does that mean? Are there other salary adjustments that are going to be paid out? Uh, there's none that I'm aware of, but I'll have to defer to so you, Michelle. So, yeah, where it says purpose, it says co um, cost of living adjustments and other salary adjustments for a five-year term. It's in the first page of the uh, board letter. In the one, two, third page. I think that's referred to the lump sum payout. Oh, okay. Is that correct? Does anyone know? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there are no other cost of living. Why in the world does it take us three years uh, to negotiate, uh, you know, this kind of a, uh, a deal? Um, I mean, I, I, I just don't understand the process. And, and then uh, to go back and start making retroactive payments, uh, that just seems uh, a, a little bit silly. Well, the, the bargaining instructions are issued by the EERC, and, I, and maybe just let me just speak to like MEA and ACE for now. But uh, when we went back to EERC, um, it was rejected. And so then we were given, and correct me if I'm wrong, Michelle, subsequent bargaining instructions from the city CAO who had discussed it with the EERC. No, so Mr. That President, the, uh, take it your general manager and your staff don't do these negotiations. They're done by the CAO. No, I, I get that, but we approve them. And it becomes our burden. And your question was why it took this why it long. Took so long. And I, you know, I wasn't here, but it wasn't the staff here that conducted negotiations for three years. Uh, it was the CAO's office. And and many of the management representatives that were involved in the negotiations since 2007 have have gone. 
so you've had a change of management over the last two years, and each time there was a change of management, somebody new came into play, and it has taken two years to go through this whole process, and when we initially submitted it earlier, um, there was, uh, EERC rejected our initial, you know, the proposal that was put before them, and subsequently the CAO made a recommendation to the EERC to propose this package to our bargaining units that were remaining. They accepted and we're processing it. So we're rubber stamping effectively what the CAO's office did? We're, we're, we're asking your approval to support the recommendation that the EERC made in the bargaining instructions. The answer to your question is yes. Thank you. What is uh, the reference to other salary adjustments? That's a very good question. What does that mean? Are there other salary adjustments that are going to be paid out? Uh, there's none that I'm aware of, but I'll have to defer to so you, Michelle. So, yeah, where it says purpose, it says co um, cost of living adjustments and other salary adjustments for a five-year term. It's in the first page of the uh, board letter. In the one, two, third page. I think that's referred to the lump sum payout. Oh, okay. are issued by the EERC, and, I, and maybe just let me just speak to like MEA and ACE for now, but uh, when we went back to EERC, um, it was rejected, and so then we were given, and correct me if I'm wrong, Michelle, subsequent bargaining instructions from the city CAO who had discussed it with the EERC. No, so Mr. That President, the, uh, take it your general manager and your staff don't do these negotiations. They're done by the CAO. No, I, I get that, but we approve them, and it becomes our burden. And your question was why it took this why it long. Took so long. And I, you know, I wasn't here, but it wasn't the staff here that conducted negotiations for three years. Uh, it was the CAO's office. And and many of the management representatives that were involved in the negotiations since 2007 have have gone. So you've had a change of management over the last two years, and each time there was a change of management, somebody new came into play, and it has taken two years to go through this whole process. And when we initially submitted it earlier, um, there was uh, EERC rejected our initial, you know, the proposal that was put before them, and subsequently the CAO made a recommendation to the EERC to propose this package to our bargaining units that were remaining. They accept it, and we're processing it. So we're rubber stamping effectively what the CAO's office did. We're, we're, we're asking your approval to support the recommendation that the EERC made in the bargaining instructions. The answer to your question is yes. Thank you. <laughs> is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Objections or abstentions? Seeing, hearing, that carries unanimous. 